Good evening. I tried to do this video three times now. This will be the fourth. So, tested some things this time. Finally got it working like I want to. And that's not even the technical part of the bike. I was having technical stuff with uh, screen recording on the laptop here. So, but that's okay because I've had more time to get used to this DinoJet PowerCore software. So, I've done a ride where I was tuning the bike already. And I had the GoPro running for that. Forgot to plug my microphone into the side of the GoPro. Whatever. We'll do it again. There's going to be plenty of time for that. So this is the PowerCore software for uh, for the DinoJet hardware. Um, there's four options to choose from here. All we care about is C3 tuning software. So it has already connected to... I've got the USB. You can't see it because it's so dark. I've got the USB plugged in already. It has already reached out to the Power Commander and pulled back what it needs from it. But if it doesn't do that, simple enough, hit this red receive button up top. It's got it. So here's your target air fuel ratio table for the auto tuner. I need to make some modifications to this. I got a new map from Fuel Moto USA where I ordered the auto tuner from. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to open the true dual map that I got from them and I'm going to go to the target air fuel ratio table just hit this cell up at the top left and I'm going to control C to copy it and I'm going to go back to my power commander 6 go to its target air fuel ratio table click that cell control V to paste it bingo so that's got some 14 fives in there for the cruising range you're cracking the throttle open. We got 13s, we got 13 sixes, we got 13 fours. But for the area where we're gonna hang out most of the time, is 14.5 gonna save us on some uh, on some fuel mileage? So we got that put in there. Uh, the ride that I did the other day that saves these settings right here that you can see a couple of numbers in to this auto tr auto tune trim percentage area. And it will continuously change that over and over and over. You don't ever have to actually do anything after you plug this thing in, in and turn it on. Which, by the way, in the tools, tools section? No. Configure. In this configure right here, we want to go to auto-tune. The first time you ever turn this thing on and click this auto-tune enabled button right here. I've already done that. Don't need to take it further couple things if you say I got this map from fuel moto if I send that to the power commander for whatever reason it doesn't send the target air fuel ratio table it sends a completely blank map so what you want to do is receive the map from the power commander open the other map copy and this is the same even if you've, if you've got a map from either DinoJet or if you order your hardware from Fuel Moto, they have a big database of maps that they've made too. You want to receive from the Power Commander, so that's the map that you get right here. And you want to open the map that you get from wherever you got it and go to these fuel adjust percentage tables. If there are anything in there, copy that from this table. Go back to the Power Commander 6 and paste it in the fuel adjust percentage here. I don't know what DinoJet has going on with this software, but it is not as friendly as the old Power Commander 5 software. This stuff's a little loopy. So, I've already got these auto tune trims in my map that's on the Power Commander 6 already. Say I want to accept those and get rid of the auto tuner. Or you can accept them and the auto tuner will make small changes after that too. You don't have to do anything, but you can do. So you can go to maps, I believe, yep, and accept trims. This will apply all of the auto tune trims to the respective fuel tables and send the solution. Do you want to continue? Yes. So that has applied the fuel trims and it's already sent it to the power commander. So you go to this fuel adjust percentage, there's all the same trims that uh, that we had on the auto-tune 
trim percentages. Simple as that. Um, now I'll go check my target air fuel ratio. That's still there, we're good to go. One other thing we can do and what I am gonna do. So I want to first save as or save map position one. I want to save this to 03212024. Because I'm going to do something that's going to wipe everything out. So I, now I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's in maps. Yep, advanced emote. So I'm going to advance this map to a cylinder and gear advanced. So it picks up your gear position from the ECU. And you can make this to where it tunes first gear differently than second gear differently from third gear all the way up to sixth. And that's what I'm going to do. Because why not? Why not have a more custom tune, right? But now, the fuel adjustments are gone. The auto-tune trims are gone. Another awesome thing about this awesome software from DinoJet. So I'm going to go to open and open my 321.24. And now I can click on that map, go to this fuel adjust map, copy this, control C, go back to my power commander six, and I'm going to paste this in all of the gears. Gear two, click there, paste. Gear three, click there, paste. Oh, paste. Four, paste. Five, control V, by the way, for paste. And six, control V. And also, close these cylinders out now. Go back to this target air fuel ratio. Lo and behold, it's blank. Get your shit together, Dino Jet. So I'll go back to this true dual map. Go to the target air fuel ratio. Copy this. Go back to my Power Commander 6. Paste it in here. So this map right here that you see on the screen right now is always going to be the targets for every gear. But every gear might have different air to fuel ratios. They're not they're, uh, different percentages of fuel change in those areas, if that makes sense. A little more advanced than I wanted to get in this, but uh, we're working on a 10 minute video already. I don't think I really need to, oh, once we're all done with this, we've pasted those stuff, those things back in. We are going to send that back to the power commander. Now we're done. I'm in the middle of an oil change right now, and I like to let all the oil leak out no more drips, nothing. So that's why I went ahead and uh, you can record for up to 10 minutes with the free version. Cool. Well, I'm done recording the screen anyway. Um, yeah, gonna let my or my oil finish dripping out here. I'm drinking nice old cold PBR. And hope that was helpful to somebody. It took me a while to get this all figured out. Like I said, the Power Commander 5 software was much, 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 much better than what they've got going on here for the Power Commander 6. But it can be done. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise. Thanks for watching. That's all I got for now. I'm gonna finish changing the oil on this thing and then go mope about all this rain.